everyone, it's Amanda Love Santos. Welcome back to another stay creating tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to wash your crochet or knit pieces that you've spent so much time working on. Uh, a lot of you guys have asked me in the past, how do I wash my pieces? How do I make sure I don't ruin them? Can I use a washing machine? My advice would be to avoid the washing machine at all costs. Um, there's too many unknowns that come with the washing machine. So we're gonna keep it really simple. We have a bucket of water here. We have a very mild soap. And then whatever piece you're gonna wash, this is my Stella tank that you guys have seen in a previous tutorial. I've got like sweat stains. It's starting to smell and it definitely needs to be washed. So let's get started. So first we're gonna find a water source. Today, I'm here at Willow Beach along the Colorado River, surrounded by the steep canyon walls of the Mojave Desert. And I wanted to film this video in nature away from modern conveniences to show you that there's not much needed to wash your crochet and knit clothing. Now I'm going to take my crochet top and soak it in the bucket of water. And to wash, I'm going to use a cast style soap which is amazing for washing almost anything, including delicate crochet and knit clothing. The best part is that it's all natural, made from a mixture of plant oils, making it an eco-friendly alternative to regular soap or detergent. And now I'm gently scrubbing the entire top and focusing on the areas that are stained, like that underarm area that tends to collect a lot of sweat. So we're just gonna get a good lather going. And once you're done washing the piece, we're gonna rinse it out by submerging it in the water. Now we're going to gently wring out the piece. So we're just going to kind of fold it onto itself and press the water out while being as gentle as possible. Now once the piece is all wrung out and we've gotten as much water out of it as possible, we're going to lay it flat and let it dry. So I brought a blanket, I'm just going to spread it out here, and this is where I'm going to place my crochet piece to let it air dry. Be sure to not stretch the piece too much because that is how it's going to dry and it will change the shape and the sizing of the piece. I hope you guys found this video helpful in keeping your crochet and knit pieces alive for a lot longer. I know that you guys spent a lot of time and put a lot of love into your handmade pieces and even the yarn is something that we have to make sure that we take care of so that it has a longer life. And by the way, I just launched a line of yarn that is made by artisans, handmade, hand spun, hand dyed using plants. So if you guys would like to learn more about that and see all the different colors that were dyed using different natural plants, I'll leave a link in the description. I'm excited to see what you guys make with it. Make sure you tag me at Amanda Love Santos or Stay Creating Co. on Instagram. And stay creating guys, I will see you on the next video, bye.